Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Mazir Khan. The topic I am going to present today is FLIOT DP, which is known as Differential Private Federated Neural Network. The co author of this research are Ling Wang, Shirazadi, Shen Jing, and Zhao Chuhan. The overview of this is, uh, PPT is started from the background, method overview, methodology, results, and conclusion. A machine learning based system has been successfully applied in various areas of social industry, from engineering solution to advance in technology to the development of intelligent web based system that provide online services. Machine learning plays an irreplaceable role, moreover, in order to share data directly. Lately, the topic of security in machine learning is enjoying increased interest. This can be largely attributed to the success of the big data in conjunction with deep learning and the urge for the creating and producing ever large data sets for data mining. However, with the emergence of more and more machine learning services become a part of our daily lives, making use of our data, special measures must be taken place to protect our users' data. Uh, recently, uh, in the uh, <coughs> when a server is supposed when a service is supposed to contain our user data, a client uh, sends a request to the server and gives the output in the form of prediction. So there is so much uh, concern about the security and the data leakage and the pri other privacy issues such as uh, uh, attacks on the server. To overcome such process. Distributed computation has been taken place. In this, the model is being sent to the client side, and the computation will be taken place on the user's end. And the data set is not going to be uploaded to the server. But there are some other disadvantages of this one, uh, such as the attacks on the machine learning during the training. The recently attacks has been taken place known as the membership inference attack and the federated backdoor attack. Uh, this one is uh, happened during the training. In the membership uh, inference attack, uh, they attack the mirror DL model, uh, deep learning model, which is the DNN, for the target model under the attack of attack model. It does not affect the predicted output but succeeds simply by creating membership inference on model output. It was based on shadow model, the approximate uh, the, fun the approximate the functioning of the target model under attack, the shadow model is used to build another machine learning model known as attack model to distinguish points in the training sample from other points based on the output they get from the original model. Before going further, uh, let me just give you an overview of how the federated learning works and then I will tell you how I, how we use the federated learning system uh, to deploy the other uh, uh, privacy preserving technique and during the training uh, during the training process. In the federated learning, there is a server uh, curator. Uh, it, uh, it sends an initial model to each client and it's done, it will do the uh, training process uh, by using own client data set and the client data set uh, after the training it will send back to the curator server and then it will combine all the models and after, after the computation it will send back to the uh, all those connected clients. The overall of the federal learning it enables mobile phone collaboratory learn a shared prediction model while keeping all the training data on device by bringing model training to device as well. So device downloads the current model, improve uh, it by learning from data on device and then summarize the changes as a small focus update. So to make it more secure, there's some privacy preserving technique has been discovered and uh, taken used by different researchers. But currently we are using differential privacy and differential privacy is one of the best state of art different uh, privacy preserving technique to secure data and we are controlling uh, which is controlled by the epsilon uh, a smaller the epsilon enforce a stronger privacy guarantee so in differential privacy there are two types local and the global for our research we are used the local level differential privacy uh, which is being insert uh, used on the client side 
So the challenges which is uh, being addressed in this research is the relaxing privacy guarantee and studying its effectiveness on specific industrial application, designing specific privacy scheme for specific data mining algorithm, since more data insertion, since more data noise insertion decrease the accuracy, hence the poor performance of model. So we use differential privacy unlike previous scheme. It is currently the strongest privacy protection. So privacy preserving often presents substantial challenge to the system design. Now comes up to the main part of our PPT, which is known as the methodology. So in our uh, proposed framework, more noise is added to the input feature with little correlation with the output and different activation function can be applied. It ensures that our framework can apply to various large data set of machine learning tasks. The problem to solve uh, uh, the problem which is solved by our framework uh, is to protect user data on distributed computation to improve the efficiency of learning rate during training method can be provide the better efficient better accuracy and the uh, balance of trade off between privacy and model efficiency. Uh, there are few points in our uh, methodology which is uh, the server send the model on random IoT clients, update the model parameter at the IoT client device and then apply the Laplace noise to the updated model and send the noise model back to the server which will aggregate the using by using federated average algorithm. And this is a workflow diagram in which one we will uh, first, uh, first the server starting with the by applying the layer wise propagation to data using the deep learning neural network and the average correlation of all input features is obtained and Laplace noise is injected into the uh, proportion through different correlation degrees of the feature after local training different IoT customer have different weights the weight of uh, the added noise is calculated using by the federal average algorithm to generate a new weight. The new weight will be transferred to the customer and the customer will conduct a new round of training and testing. The rounded value can be determined according to the values of the efficiency and the accuracy as well. Uh, to, uh, to perform our experiment, uh, we use the MNIST data set which is, sort, uh, which is sorted by using two shards. So each client get two shards. Most client will have sample from two digits only. A single client could thus never train a model on their, on their data such that it reaches high classification accuracy of all 10 digits. So for experiment setting, we use a random subset of 100 clients which is which was online. In parallel, we send the, uh, the model to those uh, online clients and the clients receive from the server updated parameters and run the STD setup producing and applying the local, uh, apply the noise locally by using the layer wise propagation and then it, uh, getting back to the server. This is the result without adding the differential privacy noise uh, during the computation phase and during the training. And this is the result which we have, which we have achieved uh, by adding the noise uh, on each client and during the distributed uh, computation. And this is the results by using, by applying our model on different level of clients, where we increased the clients from 100 to 1000. So, to establish a unique model uh, by ensuring the precise usage to uh, and to minimize the error in the accuracy estimation for the below exemption outcome, we able uh, to show through the empirical studies that differential privacy on a client level is feasible and high model accuracies can be reached when sufficiently many parties are involved. Furthermore, we carefully investigate the data and update the distributed distribution can lead to optimized privacy budget. Our framework will give a client level differential privacy which is feasible and scalable and can be worked on many parties, also our trained model. Our framework manages both sensitivity analysis and noise insertion on deep neural networks. It is totally independent of the number of training approaches in the consumption of privacy budget that make our mechanism more practical. Thank you so much. If you guys have any questions, please free to ask.